Tonight on the Pageant Cast, we have Jessica Cassidy. She's Mrs. California International 2012. Tonight, here on the Pageant Cast. Welcome to the Pageant Cast, your home for beauty pageant news and interviews on the internet. Pageant Cast, episode 336. Hi, I'm Suzanne Moore, America's Mrs. Delaware, and you are watching the Pageant Cast, the internet's first podcast about beauty pageants. Here's your host, Tim Crushman. Hi, and welcome to the Pageant Cast. So glad that you could join us. We got a great show lined up for you today because we have Jessica Cassidy, Mrs. California International 2012, on the program. She's getting ready to compete in just a few weeks in Chicago, Illinois at the International Pageants. And we're so glad that we got to have her here first on the pageant cast. Now, we know Jessica from her days competing at Beauties of America and being the Beauties of America queen nationally for the um, 30s. Uh, which, I, I mean, she wore a sash, which I'm not talking about her age. Anyway, a uh, beautiful young lady, and we were so happy to get to talk to Jessica here on the program. You'll be seeing that today. Hey, we've been getting a lot of reaction, a lot of reaction to the spreecast that we did not too long ago. And uh, we want to thank all of you that, that wrote in all the nice things about our and some of the not so nice things that that you wrote about our opinions of the Miss USA pageants. We love doing it, and I think it's something we're going to do from time to time. And uh, I have a pageant cast panel. Sarah and Amy were spectacular, and I really want to thank them once again for doing their part on the spreecast. And uh, tell us what you know. I I've, I've heard from a few people. Haven't heard from certainly not everybody that's seen it been hundreds and hundreds of hits so uh please let us know what you thought of our uh, live spree cast and should we have more of these events in the future with live video interactive uh taking comments from the audience all that good stuff uh of course if we have more people at the actual live event uh we can do more uh, taking comments from the audience so um thanks again and we're gonna get things started now with jessica cassidy Mrs. California International 2012. Today on the Pageant Cast. It's time for another great interview on the TKPN Podcasting Network. This is the Pageant Cast, and we're so excited because tonight we have Jessica Cassidy, Mrs. California International. 2012 on the line with us. Hello, Jessica. Hi, Tim. How are you? Fantastic. It's great to get together with an old friend. Well, a young old friend uh, <laughs> here on on tonight's program. So glad to see you. Uh, last time I saw you, your hair color was brown. So what's going on? Did they not let you back into California without blonde hair? Is that the situation? You know, I think that might be a requirement. Uh, the last time you did see me was when I was actually crowning a new successor for America's 30s. And I was actually, I don't know if you had known, but six weeks prior to that, I had had my daughter. So um, it was just much easier being pregnant with dark hair instead of having to maintain blonde hair. So um, that's why I was brown for a while, but I had to go back to my original roots. I'm, I'm definitely a blonde California girl. Okay, well, we're we're all glad to see that, and uh, it's wonderful to see you in your in your blonde. Uh, now you are in California. What, what part of California are you in? I'm in California. I'm in Apple Valley, California, which is um, three hours south from Las Vegas. I'm in the high desert area, is what they typically call it, or the Inland Empire. Okay, so when earthquakes happen, how much do you get shook around? Uh, well. On the way down the hill is what we call it. Uh, we actually are on the way past the Cajon Pass, which is one of the main fault lines where a lot of the earthquakes tend to happen. Mm -hmm. But we actually don't get too much 
so far, but I don't I don't want to jinx myself and have a really bad earthquake. So so when you got crowned, you you didn't feel the earth move or anything like that. No, I didn't. You didn't. <laughs> Poor. Poor. Ed, Ed is going to be watching this. He's going to be going, now, what the heck? Of course it did. So, okay, I know that you've you've competed in a number of pageants in the past. Why don't you tell us a little bit about your pageants or your past pageants that, that you've been in? Well, I've start, I started competing in pageants when I was 15 years old, and I really used pageantry as a tool to kind of teach me how to become a lady and how to present myself. Unfortunately, growing up, I didn't have a great relationship with my mother or my parents um, because they divorced when I was very, very young. So it was kind of a very volatile situation, uh, kind of very toxic. So I use pageantry as kind of that tool to teach me all of the things that a lady really should know. And throughout the years, it's kind of grown into more philanthropy efforts. Uh, right now, I, I, I compete in pageants because it, it provides an opportunity for women who have a crown on their head. It opens up doors that necessarily wouldn't have been open to you being just a regular person. So with that, I've kind of crossed over and have used it as kind of helping others and also being a role model. I mean, I didn't, I didn't come from anything. I developed into the person that I was. I didn't have the perfect American dream home. So it's it's kind of a neat American story, too. All right. Now, what have been some of the pageant systems that you've been involved in? Well, when I was younger, I did the USA system for the state of Michigan, uh, Team, US, uh, Team Michigan USA, Miss Michigan USA. I dabbled a little bit in the Hawaiian Tropic, but it wasn't really my cup of tea. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> Gosh, now you're making me really have to think. Um, oh, I'm oh, sorry. sorry. I forgot you were a blonde in California. That, hey! Uh, hey now, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> hate mail can be sent to Tim at pageantcast.com. Um, <laughs> no, hate mail. Just love me all. <laughs> so so. Uh, you, you've been involved in a number of Mrs. Pageants, so as well, correct? I have. I did the uh, Mrs. Michigan America. I did the Mrs. California America. Then I did the America uh, Beauties of America, America's 30s, mm -hmm. and I ended up winning the uh, America's 30s title. The national that, title, yep. And then um, I just won Mrs. California International. Now, something I heard is that you met a really cool podcaster at the Beauties of America pageant. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's pretty awesome. Uh, <laughs> so we met there, and I've I've been. Uh, talking to you quite a bit since then and i i know you you took some time deciding about getting involved with the international pageant system what are some of the things that helped you make that choice to compete at international well as you know i think i shared with you back in the beauties of america days that was my father-in-law was actually still living then and during that time, he was actually battling um, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, stage four. And just watching him throughout his battle and understanding some of the treatment that he received that he wouldn't have received if he hadn't been involved with the Leukemia Lymphoma Society really really got me thinking. And I want, I had, I've always been charitable. I've always been involved with charities. And I wanted to make a bigger difference. I kind of wanted to pay it forward because there were so many memories that were given to my husband and I because of the Leukemia Lymphoma Society that I had to do something about it. Um, we were able to share the birth of, of my daughter with him. Uh, we said, you know, look, if, you, if you're going to fight, you know, we'll come in, we'll fly in, have our daughter at the same hospital that you're going to be at. And you know, so you can so you can meet your granddaughter for the first time. And sure enough, we arranged it. Same hospital, same everything. They rolled him in the next day, and he got to see her for the first time. So it's memories like that that I was really really grateful for. And I had spoken to a lot of other um, women who had participated in the international system, and they really encouraged me to do it as a platform base to really see it as a platform base to increase awareness of whatever I was interested in and I thought it was just the perfect fit. It was kind of a perfect fit for me to kind of heighten the level of the work that I was doing 
bring more attention and awareness to it. And then having that possibility of becoming this is international. That's huge. Having a national PR firm work with you, having having people with such professionalism and know how to get to where you want to get and having that accessible to you, it, it's it's beyond work. So I think that was the biggest thing for me in the determining factor of being with this California International and participating in the international system. Okay. Well, fantastic. Hey, we're at our first break. We got to take a break. Just come, but we'll be back with more with Just Capacity, Mrs. California International 2012 in just a moment. Do you want great Pageant Cast merchandise? Of course you do. Go to pageantcast.com and click on the tab that reads store and pull down to Zazzle. There you will find unique and exclusive designs. Designs made for you to brag, to inspire, and to entertain at your next pageant event. Go to pageantcast.com, click on store, and pull down to Zazzle. Hi everyone, my name is Mariah Haberman. I'm the current Miss Wisconsin Central. My platform is a shot of reality, alcohol addiction. I really do feel like this platform chose me five years ago when I lost my stepfather to a drinking and driving accident. And my, I grew up with a family where alcoholism was very prevalent, so it only felt natural. Of course, here in Wisconsin, uh, it's definitely an issue and it's something I, I strive to speak to several different target audiences about. Hey, we're back here at the Pageant Cast, and we're talking to Jessica Cassidy. She is Mrs. California International 2012, getting ready to compete in Chicago this year for the fantastic Mrs. International crown. So, Jessica, tell us a little bit about how you got involved in the Leukemia and Lymphoma, uh, Lymphoma uh, Society, which I can't pronounce apparently today. But uh, tell us... I. Uh, I obviously you, you had some uh, challenges in the family there. How did you get involved with the actual society? Well, during my father-in-law's battle with non-Hutchinson's lymphoma, I actually took it upon myself to contact the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society and said, how can I help? Uh, I had been given a gift from them and I wanted to dive in both feet 100% and help in any possible way that I could, whether or not that was being a city title holder and bringing awareness and increasing, kind of increasing the awareness with the mm -hmm. public or even being a state title holder. It just kind of progressed. And Piper and Amy and Diane at the Orange County Inland Empire chapter they 100% embraced me. They took me in. They said, we think it's fantastic that you're a pageant queen. We believe in what you're doing. We're here to support you, whatever you need. We are happy to have you at any event. We're here to support whatever you need. So that's kind of how I got involved with them. And from there, it really, they've added to my family. I consider each and every one of them family. It's not, it's not the Leukemia Lymphoma Society. They're extended branches of my family. Okay. Now, uh, tell me a little bit about if, how other people can get involved if they're interested in getting involved in, in this society. Is there a website or where can they go? If uh, anyone is interested or uh, in volunteering or if they're interested in more information on how to help the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society or provide information to someone that they may know who may be battling a blood cancer, they can go to www lls.org lls.org and we'll put that in the show notes as well so that people when they pull up the show can find that in the show notes on pageantcast.com so it, it, let's uh, let's return now to the beautiful city of chicago illinois and is you had mentioned that your husband had spent some time in in Chicago. Have you been to Chicago before? Oh yes, I know the Miracle Mile very well. Okay, hey, and you have the credit card with burn marks on it to prove it, right? I sure do. <laughs> Unforking believable. Anyway, I uh, so you you're going to be in Chicago. Is there anything in particular aside from the shopping? that you're looking forward to with your time in Chicago? 
You know, the first and foremost thing I have to find out is where the nearest Krispy Kreme is. <laughs> Why don't you Why tell don't our, our viewers, viewers what what that's in reference to? Well, my husband is such a sweetheart. I, I know pageant girls will definitely appreciate this because we all want to look our best on stage. So we really kind of watch what we eat. And when we were in Myrtle Beach, when I had met Tim... I was so good. I was eating so clean and so pure because I wanted to look my best. And my husband and my mother-in-law took me into a Krispy Kreme store. <laughs> and they would not let me have one. They just made me smell <laughs> all the yummy donuts. And I couldn't handle myself. So after the pageant, after all was said and done, uh, he actually delivered me a full two dozen box of Krispy Kreme donuts along with my son. And they both wore the little Krispy Kreme hats. And it, it was just, it was hilarious. It was a lot of fun. And, and Paula Preston was there. And she, she actually has a, a little bit of blackmail, I think it is, of me <laughs> pumping into what I had been waiting for for so long was an <laughs> apple cinnamon Krispy Kreme donut. And they were still warm. So, yeah, that's going to be the first thing. I happen to know there's a number of great bakery places directly across the street. Oh, but it has to be a Krispy Kreme. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. There's brand loyalty there. Oh, I love it. That's great. So tell me, what is your favorite phase of competition in pageantry? Oh, gosh. Hmm. You know, I love evening down. There's nothing like putting on an absolutely fabulous gown that makes you feel like a million dollars. Fantastic. Well, I I know that's a favorite for a lot of people in pageantry. Uh, what do you do to keep up with beauty pageants? Are there any websites or publications that you follow to, to keep up with what's going on in beauty pageants? You know, to be honest with you, I've kind of... A long time ago, I used to keep in contact with pageant, um, I think it was a pageant magazine, and I started looking at some of the VOI forums, and mm -hmm. unfortunately, what I found with the VOI forums is that it, it shed pageantry in kind of a negative light, mm -hmm. so I really actually stepped away from really keeping up with the pageant industry. You know, I'm, I'm competing in a pageant for one purpose and one purpose only. Mm -hmm. That's to become Mrs. International and to use their tools and their relationships to bring attention and more awareness and advocacy to my platform. Um, you know, everybody else is gonna do something else. Every, everyone is gonna have something to say about somebody else. I wanna focus on my end goal. I don't wanna focus on, okay, America's system's doing this, US is doing this, you know, just the different states. I really honestly, it's important to focus on yourself and really, really keep in mind what your end goal is. So I, unfortunately, I don't really keep up with any other pageant avenues of information or anything like that. Okay. I uh, tell us what type of appearances you've had this year. Oh Lord. Other than um, purely I, stunning. Lot, lot, lots. Uh, yeah. I've actually had over 30 appearances. Um, my husband and I together, we sit on the board of a nonprofit organization up here in our local community where we award 11 scholarships on an annual basis to graduating seniors. It's called the Don Fressi Charitable Foundation. And I actually just got done reading 72 applications Ooh. for each of our schools up here. We actually are getting ready to host our award ceremony this weekend. Um, each of the individuals who applies for the scholarship has to have, we, we like to have them have no less than 500 hours of community service. Wow. Um, so it's very community service based. They have to write an essay and they have to really be involved in their community. And um, <clears throat> it was really, really neat. My husband and I were actually able to raise over $800,000 for that foundation this year. Wow. Well, fantastic. Congratulations on that. We're out of time for the interview. I do want to thank you, Jessica. Any last uh, notions for our viewers? Yeah, it, it's been a pleasure. I'm just, you know, I'm just a regular gal like you and everybody. Not you, Tim, but <laughs> I'm just <laughs> making what's totally wrong. 
I'm just a regular gal, you know, with with dreams just as big as anybody else's. So I truly hope I get the opportunity to, you know, meet everybody else that's going to be there. And I know as cliche as that sounds, I'm really looking forward to meet everybody. And, you know, each one of us has an opportunity to be the Mrs. International. I just hope it's me. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I hope it's going to be me. Um, it, it would be the icing on the cake and it would be... It would be wonderful. It would be really wonderful. Fantastic. Well, thanks so much. Everybody, that's Jessica Cassidy. She's Mrs. California International 2012. Thank you, Tim. Leave voicemail and comments for Tim at the PadmaCast. Call 262-757-8576 and let Tim know what you think of the show. This is Aaron Morgart, Mrs. Galaxy, Virginia International 2012 Wishing you Tierra dreams. Hey, that's it, everybody. That's it for this week's pageant cast. Thanks so much for tuning in. And thank you to our guest, Jessica Cassidy, Mrs. California International 2012. Now, Jessica, I'm sure in those 30 appearances that you said you had, that there was at least one parade, wasn't there? I'm sorry, there was one. No. A parade? parade? No parades? No parades. Well, then we're well, going to give you an outstanding opportunity because I want to see your best pageant wave. They're all oh, fantastic. And see that. You, what? You think you're done? That, that was it? That's all we get? Yeah, keep waving. Actually, we're going to time this. Let's see how she does. Uh, anyway, I want to thank you all for tuning in. And we're going to say, and again, you stop with the waving. Did you notice this? Did anybody else see that? She just stopped trouble. waving. Right. I'm in a lot of, I don't listen to instruction very well, do I? No, no. really not. Okay, so <laughs> we want to wish everybody a great... She stopped again. I saw her, she stopped again. I won't stop, I promise. <laughs> okay, we're watching you. We're watching you. Okay, everybody, wishing you all the best. Looking forward to seeing uh, everybody out there in Chicago at the International Pageant. She's still going. Look at that. Uh, so congratulations and everybody. Whoa, welcome to the gun show. Uh, everybody, uh, we wish you all. To, what? Again? Again, she stops. It's happened. I'm sorry. Look, look at this. It's just sad. It's just so it's just you, sad. you got me cracking okay. up. It's out of her. Okay. That's unforking believable. Okay. We'll get things. We'll close things up. Everybody, Tierra Dreams. Here, I'll show you how it's done. You just wait. That's right. Okay. We'll see everybody next time here on the Pageant Cast. Tierra Dreams.